Hello Mortals. In 1983, the Soviet Vostok station in Antarctica recorded the coldest temperature on Earth, at negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. A human would survive in such a cold for less than three minutes. The surface temperature of Mercury at night falls to negative 173. However the coldest recorded place in the universe is the Boomerang Nebula, at a chilling negative 272 degrees Celsius, or 1 degree above absolute zero. By the laws of physics, nothing can get to, or below such a temperature, as there is no more energy to extract from the system. Hence absolute zero is the lowest limit of the thermodynamic temperature scale. And here is the question, is there an upper limit to temperature? The absolute hot? But before we move on, here's something really hot. The big sponsor of Skynet, none other than Raid Shadow Legends. It is a massive RPG experience on smartphones with over 15 million players. Realistic graphics, a captivating campaign, epic bosses and competitive battles between players. All of this for free. After assembling your team and equipping them with your best gear, you can battle your way through the extensive campaign or test your skills against other players in the arena. My go-to champions are this epic knight and dark elf. Get the game right now only through the link in the description and receive 100,000 silver coins, 50 gems and this rare champion. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's only available for the next 30 days, so hurry up, and don't forget to add me in-game by my username. See you there. Moving on with hotness. The boiling point of water is at 100 degrees Celsius, not enough to kill a tardigrade. Imagine being thrown into boiling water and instead of dying you'd just be chilling, pretty metal. The temperature of molten lava is roughly 1000 degrees, and surprisingly, the blue flame of a wax candle can surpass that by 400. A chemical bomb is roughly as hot as the surface of the sun, at 5300 degrees. A bit lower than the Earth's core temperature of 6000 Celsius. The sun's outer atmosphere however, can reach an insane 1 million degrees. Multiply that by 15 and you have the temperature of the sun's core. Moving on we will speak in terms of kelvins, as the difference between it and Celsius becomes negligible. 100 seconds after the Big Bang, the universe was at 1 billion degrees Kelvin, and for the next 60,000 years, it cooled down to only 9,000 Kelvin. Think this is hot? Then strap up because we're ramping it up a notch. When a massive star collapses in on itself, right before the supernova explosion occurs, the core can reach up to 100 billion Kelvin. That's also roughly the temperature of the universe one-tenth of a millisecond after the Big Bang. Surprisingly, humans have been able to reach temperatures even higher, here on Earth, more precisely in the CERN Hadron Collider. By accelerating heavy ions to 99% of the speed of light and then smashing them together, a mind-boggling 5.5 trillion Kelvin was achieved. Fortunately, this has been done at a microscopic scale, because if one were to heat up the head of a match to that temperature, it would instantaneously evaporate the entire planet. After 10 to the power negative 35 seconds after the birth of the universe, its temperature was at around 1 octillion degrees. This is also roughly the time at which the four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, strong and weak nuclear force, were combined into one singular force. The furthest we have gone back in time is 10 to the power negative 43 seconds after the Big Bang. This time is also known as the Planck time, how long it takes for light to travel a Planck length. And a Planck length is the smallest distance at which the laws of physics don't completely break down. This would also correspond to the wavelength of the radiation emitted by an object heated to the Planck temperature, which is roughly 1.4 nonillion degrees. This is what scientists call the absolute hot point. If one tries to add even more energy to such an object, the wavelength would theoretically have to become less than the Planck distance. Our current understanding of physics cannot predict what would happen above such a temperature. But even if we were able to recreate such conditions with such an immense temperature, we would inevitably reach a barrier called the Kugelblitz. Simply put, 
A Kugelblitz is a black hole created from the concentration of a lot of energy in the form of heat, light, or radiation, in a single point. To create a Kugelblitz with a radius of a water molecule, you'd need all the output energy of the sun for six years, concentrated in a single point, in a single instant. So that's not happening any time soon. The initial moment of the Big Bang might have been the only instance that will have ever reached this temperature level in our universe. But don't be sad, even if not at absolute hot, you're pretty close to it. 